It's time to enter the House of Mouse and dig deep to unearth some forgotten treasures. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated Disney Channel original movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be setting aside the high school musicals and camp rocks of the DCOM world, as they already have a list of their own, and instead focus on those films that deserve a little more time in the spotlight. Score! Another win for the Buxton Eagles! <laughs> Number 10. Go Figure Caitlin wants nothing more than to be an Olympic figure skater. So when she meets Natasha Goberman, a top ice skating coach, her dreams are almost within reach. Listen, Sportnik, I need champion again. I need you. Caitlin joins the school on a hockey scholarship, but can't tell her teammates the truth as they look down on twirl girls. What kind of a hockey player finds the way for the fight? The kind who doesn't want to break a nail. Naturally, things don't go quite as smoothly as Caitlin would have hoped. Her loyalties are tested, and she has to work twice as hard to keep her head above water. It troubles me to say this, but a girl who sits between two chairs may fall down easily. What are you talking about? I'm standing. And when her two worlds collide, Caitlin learns who her real friends are. It's okay, guys. We'll get them next time. It's not okay. <laughs> Let her skate. Let her skate. Number nine, Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. Did you put the food away, honey? Nope. I cooked it instead. Another tale where the lead has to decide whether to follow his dreams or do what's expected of him. Eddie is a star baseball player with a secret penchant for cooking. Don't look at us. We had nothing to do with it. It was all Eddie. Hey, it was like he was possessed or something. When the time comes to choose electives, he accidentally signs him and his friends up for home economics, leading Eddie to the million dollar cook off that could kickstart his culinary career. Eddie, I cannot believe you did this. I'm sorry. Here's the deal nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, knows about this. Eddie is torn between pleasing his dad and going after his dreams, but ultimately, everyone crowds around Eddie to cheer him on. So, who wants to celebrate? Let's go get something to eat. Eddie Dogs? Yeah! <laughs> Number 8. Bad Hair Day How did this happen? It was fine when I went to bed. Monica thought waking up on the day of prom with a hair disaster was the worst of her problems, until disgraced FBI agent Liz comes a-knockin', looking for a stolen necklace. Here's the deal. I know your necklaces, but I don't want a reward, I want a ride. What? Monica tricks Liz into driving her around town in exchange for the necklace, but little does she expect to get swept up in the chase for jewel thief Pierce Peters. Tighten your seatbelts, we're about to go a lot faster. No, please don't make us go faster. One, two, three. We love this unlikely team, and it's their differences that make this such a compelling watch. Once they finish saving the day, Monica arrives to prom with a police escort. You cut your hair! Well, uh, technically she did. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, um, had loads of experience. <laughs> chop, chop. Talk about making an entrance. Yeah! Monica! Number seven, cowbells. I'm insisting you take a summer job. You're teasing, right? It's a tale as old as time. Starring Ali and AJ Mashaka as two spoiled sisters who never worked a day in their lives. It's the final straw when they go out shopping and leave a towel on the stove, causing a house fire. Their dad decides it's time to teach them some responsibility and sends them to work on his dairy farm. Problem solved. Of course, it starts out as a total disaster, but when some money goes missing, it's up to them to find the cash, save the day, and prove they're more than rich, spoiled brats. Wow, can't believe you sold your car. <laughs> Me neither. It really doesn't feel like I had a choice. Number six, read it and weep. An assignment mix-up turns Jamie into an overnight sensation, but woe to anyone who finds out that her characters are really based on her classmates. This one accidental click of the stylus that rocketed my personal private journal into cyberspace would send a shockwave roaring through the kingdom. Now a best-selling author, the fame and popularity goes straight to her head. 
with trusty alter ego Iz acting as her guide. Well, if you're not going to be nice, then be gone. Iz gives Jamie the confidence to pursue stardom. And while she becomes more self-assured, she forgets about those who were there for her before gaining success. Sawyer is running a smear campaign against me. I need some positive PR and that's where you guys come in. Have your hand will handle it. While fame looks fun from the outside, it comes at a price that Jamie needs to decide if she's willing to pay. I'm gonna destroy you because this is the real world, Jamie. You can't just zap me into a perpetual detention. Zap. She speaks the truth. Number five, Smart House. Smart House. Uh, uh, well, I don't see why we can't check it out. Yes! When this film came out, the idea of smart technology controlling your house seemed light years ahead of its time. Ben wins a fully automated dream house in a competition and tries to use the automated pet to replace his late mother. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to our newest occupants, the Cooper family, Nick, Ben, and Angie. It doesn't take long until Pat becomes too overbearing and eventually traps the whole family in the house. And it's up to Ben to free everyone. Ow! Pull up your shorts, Ben. They look fine. Ow! Cut it out, Pat! This film is ahead of its time and as entertaining as the concept is. It also reminds us that there are some things we humans can still do better than AI. New house rules. Work first, play later. Discussion terminated. Right. Number four, Pixel Perfect. My mind is racing at the speed of light. This film definitely deserved more love. Roscoe uses technology to create Loretta, a pixel-perfect performer to win over audiences for the Zetabytes. I can change her hair, her, her eyes, for a look. Loretta proves to be a huge hit with everyone, except Sam, who becomes jealous of the band's latest addition. Roscoe even falls for his new creation, not realizing there's a real-life girl who likes him too. Despite being generated by a computer, Loretta understands a lot about friendship and the importance of being yourself. Not to mention, there are some pretty catchy underrated songs in this film, too. Number 3. The Color of Friendship That embassy felt like a prison. And outside, it was like a war zone. Police, demonstrators, phones ringing off the hook. I was so glad to get out of there. One of the great things about the Disney Channel is how it isn't afraid to talk about real issues. Based on true events, Piper's family decide to host a South African exchange student, but are surprised when a white girl turns up. Yeah, I know they're nice, but are they first day of school nice or second day they're okay, don't mind if they get scuffed up that way sheets? <laughs> I don't know, I don't have these kinds of problems back home. The hosts are outspoken opponents of the apartheid regime, something that Mari's family benefit from with blissful ignorance. Whether you want to admit it or not, you know I'm right. Why else do you think your own government would hide books and movies and, and stupid TV shows from its own people? What are they so afraid of? Eventually, the girls learn to look beyond skin color and become friends. It's a long, rocky road, but Mari's worldview is turned on its head, and she realizes things need to change. Number 2. You Wish I wish I never made the first wish. Most of us have wished away an annoying sibling, but if any of us actually considered what would happen if it came true... The love in the day. Stevie! Alex wishes he never had a little brother, and wakes up to learn he's now an only child. At first, he enjoys life in the popular crew, but quickly realizes that he's made a huge mistake. He tracks down Stevie, now a superstar, and the pair hunt for the magic coin that Alex used to make the first wish. You know what they say, careful what you wish for. Stevie! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I mean, I want you to come home, but I don't want you to quit. I think you should keep doing what you're doing. Um, Molly? Molly, where did you go? Exactly! 
quickly! Uh, where did I go? I don't know. I don't know where I went. So you think you're so special that a nobody like me couldn't possibly understand how hard it is to be you? Okay. It worked. What? What worked? I, I, uh, you did this? I, I made a wish when I, when I saw a shooting star. You made a, a wish to be me. Number one. True confessions. Okay, here's the deal. The more I wish my life could be like a sitcom, the more it turns into a soap opera. Based on the book of the same name, we're introduced to True Walker, who wants to be on TV. WTV is having a contest for kids, and the winner gets to host their own TV show. Are you fully comprehending this? I'm gonna be on TV! She's ecstatic when she hears about a competition that could make her dreams come true, and uses her twin brother Eddie, who is autistic, as the subject of her documentary. Eddie is the most beautiful and profound person I know. She wins the contest, and learns a lot about herself, her family, and the general attitudes toward disabilities. It's a really touching story, and by the end, all the things that annoy True make her family come closer together. And Eddie, well, I think it's safe to say that Eddie will always be Eddie. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.